Ever struggle to pick the exact elements you need in Revit? Well, today I'm showing you how filters make it effortless to target the right parameters, especially in a structure discipline and for the bars. So as you can see in here, we are in the structural discipline and we have a lot of different details in here. In each one of these columns, in each one of these floors, we have multiple rebars with different sizes, different lengths, and with different shapes. Selecting between them, finding exactly what we need is very important in here. And we are going to learn how we can get them accurately in a few seconds. I'm going to turn this off and we are going to check this only for these rebars that we have on this foundation as you can see we have different types of rebars in here in the base in the top with different shapes with different sizes as you can see in this part okay so to filter what we need we need to go to the visibility and graphic i personally think that it should be on view tab on manage tab on modify tab but it is actually in visibility and graphic if you press vv on your keyboard you can see this dialog in here and usually it is the last tab in this part since i have a link a revit file link to this project i have this revit link in here but you can go to this filters section to filter exactly what you need First thing we need to do is to add a filter. In this part, I'm going to click on edit new. And in here, we're going to create a new one. Let's say we want to filter rebars with a specific parameters. For example, their diameter, their length, their shape, anything you want. You can enter any name you want in this part. Um, I want to, for example, select the rebars with like 20 diameter. I'm going to type rebar 20 and click on OK. Now we can see this new section in this part, rebar 20. After that, we need to go to category section. And in this part, if you don't have this structure check, to find the field you want easier in this part, you can just simply filter this part in here and select between the rest of them we are going to apply this filter to rebars so in this section we need to find those structural rebars in this part i'm going to just check this structural rebar and if you want to see what you have checked is accurate or not you can just simply check it with this section this will show you the sections that you have checked okay and after that, we need to go to filter rules. This is the part that we actually apply the rule for the part that we want. We have two different rules in here and or. The difference between two is that when you go with and rules, all of the rules that you set should be two. They all should apply to what you want. And only in that case, you can see that filter. When you go with or, if you, for example, have set like three rules and one of them is not correct, is not applying, it's okay, you can see it again. Okay, this is the difference between these two. Right now, we have one option in here and it is set on and. In this part, we are going to select the parameter that we want to filter. Okay, we have selected the rebar structure rebar and we can see it in here. And in this part, we are going to select the parameter that is related to this section. If you have selected a door, this section would be different. Okay, so in here, since we want to like filter our rebar based on the diameter, I'm going to just simply click on this bar diameter. And in this part, we are going to choose between if you want it to be equal, exactly equal to like 20 millimeter, or if we want it to be greater than this value, not this value, the value that we are going to select in this part. But as I explained, we want it to be exactly equal to 20. So I'm going to go with this equal. And in this part, you can see all of the diameters, different sizes in this part. Since we want it to be equal to 20, I'm going to select this one. And if you want, you can apply other rules to this part too. Or if you're okay, you can just simply click on okay. 
and click on OK in this part too, and OK again. Okay, so we just created our first row. Let me just zoom in on this foundation so we can see everything better. I'm going to go back to visibility and graphic filters tab and the reason that we cannot see it in here is because we need to add that filter to this part again i'm going to click on this add and we are going to select the rule we just created click on ok and we can see it in this part it is exactly like what we had in these sections we could control each section separately for the any part that we want in projection or cut section for this category for 2d models for annotation and for any other thing we can have in this part it's exactly the same but you are going to choose what you want to highlight okay let's just test this pattern in projection view i'm going to click on this part and for its background let's go with a sharp color like this one click on ok for its pattern i'm going to choose this solid pattern click on ok and ok again if we zoom in in this part you can see all of those rebars with that exact 20 diameter okay if i select this one you can see it is 20 in this section the other diameter is that had different shapes or different sizes are not selected only the diameters with the size that we just choose okay if you want to like apply another filter for this part i'm going to press vv go to filter section click on edit new in this part let's add another row i'm going to add a new one and in this section let's say we want to filter them based on their lengths too so we are going to search for the lengths the total lengths in this section total bar lengths in this section let's say we want to have the bars that are greater than the value that we can choose in this section for example greater than this one click on ok and ok again and in here we can if anything applies we should see the filter again okay let's change it to some other values i'm going to go back to this part edit new obviously all of them are about that value so this is the millimeter i'm going to put this on is less than and in this part i'm going to go with maybe maybe this value click on ok and ok again oh we can see some sections filtered this is the value that we have this is the exact thing that we want and only in this section we have the um, rebars with that diameter and the size we was searching for okay this is how you can filter if you want to add anything else you can just simply insert it in this section and based on that you can just simply filter that part let me just add a little bit more to this section edit new in this part i'm going to increase this to something around this value click on ok and ok again yes we can see some more options in this part and this is how you can use these filters it's not only working on the rebars but this is the part that we have a lot of different elements with different sizes in different sections in column foundations in different parts for each floor and this way we can switch between them we can select what we want accurately this is a technique that you can use it on all of the discipline uh, in architecture discipline for walls for floors in mep section for like plumbing for different sections and also in a structure for rebars so i really hope this video was helpful for you if you enjoyed watching it don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you next time